All right, we're back at it again. Oh, it's a good uh, Saturday morning here in the lower Hudson Valley. And um, yeah, we got a little problem with the Rover. It was out um, with uh, Cousin Ken over the weekend and we um, we were uh, headed out for some food as per, uh, per our usual weekend plans. And the Rover basically just kind of pooped the bed and just lost all power, uh, check engine light. Uh, not only was it on, it was flashing. It was it was very uh, it was very dramatic. Uh, so I did what any responsible driver would do, and uh, I kept I kept driving. Uh, I did eventually get to a place where I could pull over, and um, if that ever happens and you have a check engine light, especially a flash check ch- uh, flashing check engine light, do not drive. Pull over, turn the car off, and um, yeah, get a tow. Anyway. Um, so uh, we got home, and um, listen, the, the car is shuttering, and essentially, to me, it feels like we've got something going on with the ignition system. So um, we're going to do some testing, and we'll see where it takes us. One of the things I want to do, though, um, I, I, uh, I saw this guy who had this automotive stethoscope, and it's interested me, and I want to see if I can actually use the stethoscope to uh to actually see if i can hear the the misfire on a cylinder if that doesn't work we'll we'll, we'll go towards more uh, traditional means of uh figuring this out all right let's go inside the cabin all right let's get a little start here let's turn ac off radio off Ooh. Check engine light not on. Not on, which is really interesting. But I, I feel it. I just feel it missing. I'm afraid to gas it. Let me give it a little gas. Oh, yeah. I am. It's so strange that the check engine light's not on. Woo! I doubt you can hear that. Huh. Let me just throw it in reverse. Yowza. It is crazy that the check engine light is not on. All right, well, oh, there we go. Check engine light just came on. Um, yeah, so, um, all right, let's get under the hood and get after it. All right, so we got our, this is our mechanic stethoscope here. I just know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go on each of the coils. So I already have the top, the top off. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Let's see what happens here. All right, we're in the car. We got the scan tool hooked up. Um, that was not useful. Basically, they all sounded alike. You pretty much only hear the injectors firing. So, um, you know. Experiment conclusive. Maybe if I had a better quality stethoscope, it would work. Oof. Okay. In the car, got the scan tool hooked up. Let's do diagnose. Let's go to Land Rover. And Discovery 3. Got the V8, the big V8, uh, and I'm going to do a full scan. You know, I like this little, this iCar Soft. It's been good to me. I've never had a gap tool. I wouldn't mind getting one, but, you know, I've had this thing for so many years, and I just haven't found the need for the gap tool because I just didn't you know have the need to program the 
you know, it's got, it, it, you can't even compare the two. I'm sure the gap tool is just amazing, but for your average guy, this might work. All right, let's see what we got here. Cylinder two misfire. Misfire detected on startup all-terrain response module. What a shocker. Um, cylinder two misfire. All right, let's go engine control module. Let's go data streams. See if this thing, okay. And what I'm looking for is I want to look at a misfire counter. Okay. Six. I think I counted eight there. Okay, let's take a look. We see here. Cylinder two is the culprit. I don't see anything else. Cylinder two is, cylinder two is where it's at. All right, so we're gonna zero in on cylinder two. Okay, under the hood here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take uh, two of these coils off. I'm going to take this one off and I'm going to take this one off and I'm going to bench test them just for continuity and just see if there's a difference between them. Um, these coils come off quite easy with this plug here. You can almost do it with your hand. Uh, you see that? Okay. They don't come off too far. A five sixteenths. Okay. That was on. Fire stuck. see I don't see anything that would make me feel like it was like carbon fouling or anything like that I don't see any oil on it which it shouldn't have oil on it because I just did valve cover gaskets and oil plug uh, seals so that doesn't surprise me but all right, let me just take this other one out and we'll go and bench test. Plug number one over here and plug number two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a continuity test. And uh, if you see in here, we're gonna just, we're gonna do from the first pin all the way to the fourth pin. We're gonna go on the one that is from cylinder two. What's she saying? Let's change the scale on that a little. Eighteen three, eighteen three. All right, and let's go to the one that was in the opposing cylinder. And just see, we got a difference here. Fifty-one three. Okay. All right. Well. All right. We're going back in with these two coils. Uno dos. Uno dos. Okay. Very, very difficult to install. Just shove it in a hole. Get in your hole. OK. 
Okay. And then let's go for this one. Harness number one. We're going to do harnesses first and bolts second. Feels like it's gonna snow. I'm not I'm not quite ready for snow. This is this time of year, it's like 55 degrees out right now. A little nippy, but it's my jam. It's my jam. I like it. Alright, these things are back in. Now the moment of truth. Oh, wow, key, key turned, literally did nothing. That's not what I wanted to see. Okay, well, it is no longer rumbling, that's for sure. I don't even remember, was it two that was misfiring? Why couldn't they put these all together? iCarSoft, if you're watching, why couldn't you put all the cylinder misfire counters together? Is that not intuitive? Cylinder one, one misfire. Cylinder three, two misfires. Interesting, uh, okay. Hmm. I see zero, let me give it a little gas. There's something going on on cylinder one. Give a little. Bringing her. Giving her a little gas. Okay. Might be a little intermittent misfire on cylinder one and two. But here's what's going to happen. Um, I'm just trying to get myself going for the day. Uh, I am going to order all new coils for this car. It's probably time. I think these have been in the car for I think over 75,000 miles. So I'm going to order Densos. I think those are the OEM uh, coils and throw them all in and I'm pretty confident that the Rover will live to see another day. Alright. That's, uh, that's another one. Like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Past the big milestone here at the channel. Uh, over 100 followers incredible success incredible success um anyway uh but it's been fun and appreciate all your time thanks for watching talk to you soon bye everyone it's a sad day gentlemen i stepped on my stethoscope and it's now in several pieces